Hello and welcome back to another Doctor Who unboxing video. Yesterday I'll be unboxing Doctor Who Season 8. Well I hope it's Doctor Who Season 8. It could be Season 24. Fingers crossed it's Season 8. Um, so yes, we, if we have another collection box set to unbox and it feels marvellous to have another collection box set to watch. Uh, so the way this video is going to work is I'm going to do the unboxing, show you the presentation for Season 8. Fingers crossed it is Season 8. And then we will do a disc breakdown for each disc, talking about the new special features, what features within each disc, and then do my sort of lineup of all the Doc 2 Blu rays so far. So, without further ado, let's just dive into this unboxing and unbox season 8. Okay, on to the main event unboxing season 8. Um, so, like I said, it just feels so good to have another collection box after season 14 back in May. Um, so to finally have a Pertwee release as well is incredibly exciting. There it is, Season 8. Doesn't it look absolutely marvellous? So we move that out of the way and move you out of the way, Carble, because we don't need you. We need the glorious Season 8. Look at that. Isn't that just stunning? I have to say that this is probably my favourite artwork for the collection series so far. I just love the, the colour scheme of it with the, sort of the Axos background. The Doctor holding the TARDIS dematerialization circuit, or the Master's dematerialization circuit, then the various monsters. It just looks absolutely stunning and I just love it. So let's open this up. So here is Season 8 in all its lovely glory. So let's take a look at the cover art. So we've got the third Doctor Bell looking very majestic with the Axon ship background, the dematerialization circuit, the Guardian. Um, is it the Eraction Guardian from Colony in Space? The Master, Azal, and the Auton, and then the Axos creature. And then Doc 2, Season 8 for Collection, and 12, this is an 8 disc set. We have the side of the release there, and then of the back there we've got a lovely image of the booklet artwork there. And then we have Continue Your Doc 2 Archive of the Ultimate Collector's set. So this set includes Terror of the Autons, Mind of Evil, The Claws of Axos, Colin Space, and The Daemons. Some fabulous stories with brand new special features, which we'll talk about when we do the disc breakdown. Um, so yeah, that is the little J card, so if we just remove the J card itself. We can take a look at the back of the release there. We've got the third Doctor TARDIS there flying through the vortex. I really love that. It looks like the second Doctor um, character options toy, doesn't it, in a way? But it does look absolutely marvellous. looks very groovy, um, like the 1970s itself. Then we get the clean artwork there with the sort of pertwee vortex swirl at the bottom. It just looks absolutely stunning. I love this artwork. So if we open it up, oh, if we open Season 8 up, we are greeted with the discs and the lovely booklet holder there. Um, from Colony in Space. Doesn't that look really stunning? I love that. Um, so let's take a look at the disc art, then we'll look at the booklet. So if we take a look at the disc art for Season 8, so we've got the lovely sort of motif of the Axon ship background, the Brigadier Joe, because this is her first story, along with Captain Yates and the Master. And of course we have the third Doctor there holding the plastic daffodil. So we move on to disc 2, the Mind of Evil. We have the man himself, the Master, Roger Delgado and Chin Lee. Again, we have the Axon ship motif again. And then at disc 3 we have the Claws of Axos with the Axon Lady and the Axon Creature there looking very cool in their Axon ship. And then, oh, steady on discs. Uh, we have Colin in Space, disc 4, which is one of the primitives and one of the Mining Corporation robots. And then disc 5 we have another Colin in Space disc, which is the Guardian, the Araxian Guardian. Again, lovely disc art. Um, for this disc. The discs are very keen to be shown. And then we have, of course, Bok. Yes, from the Daemons. So disc six is the Daemons. And then, of course, we have the man himself, Azal, Azal, on disc seven. Wonderful, wonderful. Love the disc art for that. Looks very, very creepy and menacing. And Azal, oh, terrifies me. And then disc eight is the TARDIS there, looking very majestic and a bit battered. Um, but yeah, and then we move disc 8, we have the lovely fur Doctor face there from his title sequence. Really lovely little touch from these collection box sets. So let's move on to the other exciting thing, which is the booklet, um, which is stored in this lovely holder there. You can see the lovely artwork of the fur Doctor and Joe with Joe going on a first alien planet. It looks really great, really like that. So if we open it up, we are greeted by this lovely image of the fur Doctor and Joe and the third doctor holding the master's or sort of mask and then we have the man himself there and then we have the nesting slowly coming down from this sort or of radio telescope thing i think and then if we open it up we have the booklet itself and we move that outside you can see the lovely season 8 tardis console room there really nice cgi render thing besides the booklet we have this we have more exciting products from doctor who um just advertising other various doctor things which is pretty cool but 
The main event is this lovely booklet. Doesn't that look absolutely stunning? I love the artwork. I love that photo of John and Katie. Um, I think I got it signed actually by Katie and got the master looking very menacing there. Um, so if we open the booklet up like so, we've got a lovely image of John there in the unit lab and then a bit of information about season eight, um, which is really nice. And if we move next up, we have the sort of disc breakdown there, Terror of the Autons, lovely bit of artwork. I really do love that. That is a really great sort of use of the Radio Times um, photo shoot. And then we've got the sort of master there. Oh, I love that. I really do like the artwork. That is really stunning. And then we've got some more little photos there from Terror of the Autons. Um, third Doctor looking very concerned. Um, and then we've got some lovely behind the scenes photos there, which is again, really nice little touch. Then disc two, The Mind of Evil, again, telling you what's on each disc there and some lovely photos from the actual store itself then we have the artwork lovely artwork again with the Keller machine there the master looking very badass I love that I really like the artwork for this I have to say but season 8 for so, in terms of artwork definitely is winning winning the artwork front for me and then we've got the Claws of Axos breakdown there a bit more information about the development the production side which is very nice in-depth stuff then we've got the artwork for Claws of Axos um, there and then you sort of got the after image of the story. So these booklets are really in detail look at sort of the reception, how fans received it in the general public. It's really fascinating stuff. Um, really and tells you how you know it was merchandise and all that and sort of the, the lasting image of that story. And then we have Colony in Space. And then we've got some lovely images there, the artwork um, of Colony in Space. And then we have the lovely Damons there, which is very cool. Behind the scenes image of the behind the sofa stuff, which is very cool there. Good old Bok there. And then we have the artwork. Oh, that is beautiful. I love that. That is great. Look at that. That is very striking. Um, I really like the sort of red fiery motif. Really like that. And then, of course, we move back to the last page there of Roger Delgado there, sort of the bonus sticks and sort of talking about the daemon sort of after image there in the reception and then the back we've got a lovely sort of promo photo of katie and roger there and some dead autons from the auton bus um so yeah it's really lovely so if we open it up and of course we've got the sort of jet there from the airstrike and if we open that up fully you can see the artwork and that is really stunning so let's take a closer look at the new special features, what feature within this box. The new additional content, what features on Season 8, as you can see we've got a lovely Season 8 display to celebrate this glorious Blu-ray release. So on Terror of the Autons we have Behind the Sofa with Katie Manning, Stuart Bevan, Angie Mahindra and Sasha Duan and Janet Fielding and Sarah Sutton. And they feature on across all the stories what feature within Series 8. So we have optional 5.1 surround on all four episodes, optional and updated special effects, clean and opening closing titles in HD. BBC Trails and Continuity and revised updated production subtitles and photo gallery in HD and of course we have the PDF material as well. Disc 2 for the Mind of Evil and um, we have Behind the Sofa, Blue Peter, A Visit to the Makeup Van and the BBC South East feature. BBC Trails and Continuity, revised updated production subtitles and photo gallery in HD. And then for Disc 3 of Axos we have Behind the Sofa. Extended Episode 1, BBC Trails and Continuity, Revised Updated Production Subtitles, Photo Gallery in HD. And then at Disc 4, we have Behind the Sofa, then BBC Trails, Revised and Updated Production Subtitles, and Photo Gallery in HD. And then Disc 5, again, is Colony in Space again. Uh, we have an early edit of Episode 2, Film Trims, Location Work, and Film Trims of the Special Effects. For Disc 6, the Daemons, we have Behind the Sofa, Location film footage, and then we have the Pertwee Years VHS introduction, optional 5.1 surround on all five episodes, BBC Trails and Continuity, revised and updated production subtitles, and photo gallery in HD. And of course, in disc 7, we have the repeat omnibus edition. Then we have the Devil's Weekend, which is a new feature featuring John Levine and Katie Manning return to Oldbourne, um, which I'm very excited about. And of course, um, with these Blu ray box sets, they contain the original DVD special features as well, so you're getting a fair bit with these collection box sets. Um, so what else do we have on disc 7? We have Visual Effects by Peter Day interview, and then we have The Chronicle, um, The Silsbury Dig and Archive Program from 1968. And then disc 8, which is the bonus disc, we have the Katie Manning in conversation with Matthew Sweet, uh, which I'm looking forward to because Matthew Sweet always provides like a very good um, interview, especially like the Tom Baker one he did on season 12. He, he, he does a really good job, uh, Matthew Sweet. I really do like 
the In Conversations. Then we have the Direct Route, which is directors Michael E. Bryant, Graham Harper, and Timothy Combe return to the filming locations of season eight, which is going to be a very fun one. And then we have a bonus scene from that as an extra. Then we have a documentary which I'm quite looking forward to watching, which is Terence and Me. Frank Skinner meets the family and friends of Terence Dix, which I think is going to be a lovely little touching thing. I feel like it's going to be the um, equivalent of, you know, our Sarah Jane from the season 14 uh, Blu-ray one. Then we have the Panopticon Archive, John Pertwee convention footage from 1991. I look forward to watching that because I've been watching quite a few John Pertwee panels from conventions back in uh, the 80s and 90s, so I look forward to watching that. Uh, then we have the 50th Anniversary Archive of Annika Wills and Richard Franklin, a Blue Peters extract, um, Lost of Doors, Studio Clocks, and then we have the Blu-ray trailer, Return of the Autons, the audio archive featuring Terror of the Autons, read by Jeffrey Beavers and the audiobooks promo. And of course, we do have the traditional PDF material. A wealth of new material what features within the Dog 2 collection season 8. So there we have it, the Dog 2, the collection lineup so far. And doesn't it look absolutely gorgeous? My unboxing of the Dog 2 season 8. I look forward to diving into this box set and looking at the new special features and revisiting these wonderful stories because season 8 is just a fabulous uh, season. Of course, in a few weeks' time, um, I will do a live stream with a group of mates talking about this box set, talking about the new special features and reviews of the stories. Look out for the Dog 2 the Collection season 8 review live stream. Um, probably be either a Friday or a Saturday. Um, that will. Please do like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this unboxing video. There's plenty of Doc 2 content in the future with big finish reviews, figure reviews, and of course a review of the Big Chief Third Doctor coming up very soon. When it arrives, I will be definitely doing a video talking about the lovely Big Chief Third Doctor. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please stay tuned for the Doc 2 Collection Season 8 review uh, live stream coming in the next couple of weeks. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. So thank you, and... Goodbye.